Spider-Manic here. Welcome back to another video on the American Map, episode 16. So what we're going to be doing today is I messed up in the audio and everything. I lost it for some reason. I must have not had my new headset dialed in correctly. I do apologize, guys. So what's going to happen here today is we're going to head up to Field 22, and we're going to pick the sunflowers. I'm going to do a bit of a voiceover, and then I'm going to turn in some music, and you're going to see the first bit of uh, me harvesting these sunflowers. And then when I had to go eat some dinner, I had to go for dinner, because this was recorded on Christmas Day here. So when I had to go eat turkey and stuff, I uh, stopped recording, then I came back, and I messed around my settings a little bit more, and I pulled up the video to make sure it was working good. And no, it didn't work, so I was kind of a little bit bummed about that. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I do apologize. Enjoy this music, and sit back and have a fantastic day after Christmas. Two days after Christmas, this will be going up. So guys... Take care, take it easy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for all watching. You and I, we're trouble in sight. Beating hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write I'm in love, you're divine And it's all in our signs We're going away hey. Get your back, check the tag Decision is made hey. Lock your door, need no more It's already paid hey. Cancel your mail for a while It's a journey
Uh, looks like the PTO, uh, I meant C. Back up here, I'll show you what I mean. See here, look at the PTO, it's not even detached, it's so far up. That's where Giants messed up right there, big boss right there, they messed up. That should be down, or else brought down, you know? But I guess it's a golden head, but still, why would it be up so high, Giants? Like, really? Why would did you put it up so high? That's my biggest concern right there. I don't know. Um, how many of a miss? Can we get that gun? Nope. Alright, let's maybe stab a hole up here. Oh, it's straight getting these lines there. Let's find out. Probably not the straightest, but we'll find out really shortly. Uh, we already got 32% on. <coughs> we already got two thirty. We already have 32% on the grain tank here. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to dump on the grain cart here when we get back. Time we mess around over here on the far side, because that's what we're probably gonna do is go over there and pick on the far side again, and then we'll think about maybe coming over here when we get this all done. But I'm honestly assuming that she's gonna go on all on the buggy. Like, all on the grain cart, just cause... It's not that big. Like, it's not yielding the greatest. We're just gonna go down here, you know? Let's see how straight this line is here in the end. If my line is pretty straight, I think it should be pretty straight just cause of sunflowers and stuff. And I can... Take the snout of the corn head and I can stick it in one of them. And it'd be nice and easy going for us. So I like that part right there. Might be overlapping a little bit, it won't hurt. How many of you guys actually had a green Christmas? Or a uh, white Christmas, sorry. What did you guys have, green Christmas, white Christmas? You mostly, you might have to say where I was, you mostly had a green Christmas here in Canada, Ontario here. So, let me know what you guys had. Are you guys really excited for Christmas? Did you get what you wanted? There's always next year, or else there's always your birthday. Just keep trying, you know? Or maybe you've been bad, and that's why you haven't got it yet. So you gotta behave, you know? Probably get her, uh, ripper out. Ah, I just spoiled the beans. Alright, so we got a Case 875 ripper that, uh, got converted by, uh, friend of mine and I have a different map probably I'm getting I believe I'm getting a different map that no one else will ever have I'm not gonna say too much about it but you guys will just have to stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in that one did you guys see uh, Welker got 288 combines 82 88s or something or 30s I can't remember but yeah, Welker got two different uh, combines. So yeah, go check out Welker Farms. You guys ever heard of him? There's one guy I watch quite a bit. If you guys are curious. Hey, brakes here suck. Yeah, get up. be able to get this all so I don't know do you guys want me to plant some more uh, sugar king from next crop because the sugar king it will basically regrow back up if we don't touch it so if we leave those two fields as it is that sugar king will come back up next year so do we want that or do we want we're a little wide up here 
Um, so yeah, if you guys want Sugar King again and Sunflowers, let me know by dropping a comment what I should plant next year for the next season. After we get all the plowing done, do you guys want Sugar King? What do you guys want? Let me know by dropping a comment, please. Thank you, and I will uh, be all good. There you go. I kind of like this corn head. You can actually see the actual chains going around. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys prefer better? Deer combine or case combine? I think I prefer... A deer. My favorite combine so far right now is probably going to be that I brand the most. I like our uh, 9670 SDS John Deere combine. I really like that one. But I know a John Deere S6, no, S670 is pretty good too. I drove it for a couple hours for the neighbor. So those are pretty cool too. I'll just go down the far side, come up the other. Number one. I don't think I took this far side too straight coming up, so. Might be a little bit off. Let me know how my mic and stuff is again. Let me know if there's any suggestions I should try and change with it. I will try my best, guys. And we'll go from there. I hope this video turns out pretty good. where the sprayer came up and down right there, how it burned uh, the sunflowers all off. If you guys are wondering why those rows are missing, that's what happened. Sunflowers got killed by the sprayer when, I, when we sprayed it for the weeds and fertilizer and stuff. So That's what happens when you're unrealistic. But if we sprayed it earlier, we wouldn't have had this problem, I guess. You guys think it's all gonna go in the buggy? I think so. See, this thing has no brakes. a brake button, you know? That'd be kind of nice to have this uh, 19 had. The actual brake button. This thing might take a bit to unload, honestly. Watch it unload back here. Don't see much of this stuff. So. <clears throat> My voice is really messed up here today. I do apologize, guys. Is that it? Yep. Let's try not to miss any this time. You guys think we probably should use a bigger head? I guarantee you guys would say that. I don't mind going with a bigger head, but that way the deer is the same and we're doing big cornfields and stuff, it's gonna work out in the end. So I think we're okay for the head width and everything. Um, 
might pick up more land here very shortly. I think the neighbor farmer, he wants to sell some stuff. So we'll have to see how things go there. But we'll be done our harvest before the neighbor gets done, I imagine. So we'll have to wait and see what happens over there for the neighbor, but he might call us up. We might have to go help him run a combine or, you know. We'll have to see what we get stuck doing. Probably have to help cultivate the plow, I think he thought, but we still gotta ask about a cornfield around there somewhere by that cow yard so we can chop it up. I really don't want to chop our two cornfields up down here because I want to use them for cow food. But I should go see them here yet tonight and see if we can actually get a field out of them. If not, then we are going to have to chop those two cornfields that we have. Basically, what we're going to do is pick the headlands and then chopper. Probably rent a small, small, small chopper. Like the smallest chopper there is. Just because of we don't need a big one if we're only going to do 50 acres of chop, and, and that isn't going to fill the pit, unfortunately, too. So, we might actually find, plant some more corn next year, put everything in corn, chop that, and then chop the grass, or the hay fields, everyone was saying, too. So there's another thing we could try. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. I hope we'd be able to get a corn fill out of them, rent it off, and then we'll help them out with work and harvesting and everything. Great suck on this thing. You guys are wondering why I'm dropping this combine down so quick is that way it's not so it has a little bit of time to slow down instead of constantly keep her going let's get this guy over here just a little bit that's it for sunflowers boys up over here a bit. See how bad these brakes are? Holy smokes. Sir wants to lag here again. Stupid sir. See here, this is what the comp the head looks like folded up. But I really don't see no point of it because the duels are wider than what the head is. So what's the point of folding it up? That's what I don't get. Thumb on, throw them on, let's roll. We don't need to look for cars. Steering on this thing sucks. Might have to trade this combine off here shortly if I don't like it. I'm telling you boys, this thing don't fix. We might be trading this thing off for the deer. I'm honestly thinking about it. Running two deers on the farm. But if this case, if you guys can get this case to smarten up here, we'll run it. But if not, then that's what's going to happen. Might as well stab in here at the corn. We'll just pick a little bit, park the combine in here, and we'll leave the combine sitting here and go from there.
the head. That's it. Leave that case sitting there and we'll go run back and grab the uh, green cart. Actually, this is going to be quicker. There's the sugar cane operation. If you guys didn't see the last live stream, I encourage you guys to go and check that out. Um, this is all we have left to harvest for sugar king over here. So there's the harvester sitting right there. We had to get the big one. The old 88 KSIH combine. Two dump buggies, one on the new hall and one on the case, what is it, 7250? Yep. And the trailer there. So let's run this grain cart over the grain bin, dump it in the actual grain bin, tarp this bad boy, and that'll be it. Throw our rotary beacon on, maybe. Alrighty. Let's take it easy. I find that combine has this. That combine, I think it makes me lag. Always, when I'm in it, I feel like I'm always lagging a little compared to this John Deere. I'm not saying nothing against it. I think there's some errors in that case combine that are making me lag a little, and I don't like it. So, I'm starting to think that's what's going on with it. here but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video so far uh, smash that thumbs up button I really appreciate it turn on post notifications you know so we did put some gravel down here on the farm instead of all the gravel and all different stuff we decided Ryler and I we decided that why don't we just gravel the whole thing it looked a lot better but it looks a lot nicer in my opinion let us know what your let us know what you guys think about the new updates to the farm. Let's unload all these sunflowers. Let's just sit here and watch them unload. Let's go take a sunflower bath. Oh, I missed it. Park this thing. parking spot for that. Uh, 7 is still sitting over here. What else is still around? Yeah. We got everything nice and tucked in here. The combine stuck up here. Tedder is in this corner, I believe, as always. Then the heads are over in this corner. Here's our case 875. Ripper. This is 870. Yeah, that's 870. Ripper here. Um, there's the cedar. The rake. Planer. Cultivator. Baylor and the actual plow plow. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.